From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening, Center County student meteorologist Christopher Tate here. Glad to be joining you on a day where we really struggled to see very much sun at all here in State College and across much of central Pennsylvania as well. Here's how things looked on our College Township camera to start. Now I promise Mount Nittany is still in the picture. It's just we had very low cloud cover for much of the morning. And it was very persistent, very thick, very hard to lift, very hard for us to dry out enough here at the surface to see those clouds lift and dissipate. We did eventually have the clouds lift and even a few brief peaks of sun to be seen this afternoon, including right now at the bottom of the three o'clock hour where temperatures are currently coming in at 68 degrees. So it's a much cooler day than we had in State College the last couple of days. Uh, but I think it's a welcome change, at least personally, because I'm a fan of cooler weather anyway. Uh, so have our visible satellite picture across Pennsylvania shows that we're not the only ones who have been dealing with cloud cover today. Persistent cloud cover in particular has been present west of State College and along the Laurel Highlands where those areas have also struggled to escape the 60s today. Meanwhile, compare that to, say, Harrisburg down in the capital region, where they've had more scattered cloud cover and consequently have been able to warm up more. 81 degrees, the current reading on the mercury in Harrisburg, 73 to the west in Indiana, where they've had a little bit more sun this afternoon. And you can see some of those deeper red colors southeast of Pittsburgh, where some of those areas have managed to creep up into the upper 70s, likewise in Philadelphia coming in at 70. 79 degrees. Radar and satellite across the rest of the Northeast shows that we're really the only uh, Northeastern state that's still dealing with the cloud cover. Some clouds in New Jersey associated with some uh, afternoon precipitation and there's some offshore activity southeast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, but that's really all going on in the Northeast. Meanwhile, off the Carolina coast, I want to call your attention to this little cluster of showers and thunderstorms. This is Invest 96L. It's not quite a tropical depression. It's not a tropical storm, but it is an area of investigation, hence the name, that the Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on. It's currently dubbed 96L. That's just a serial number, basically. But if it does become a tropical system, its name will be Odette. We're up to the O storm in the Atlantic. It is forecast to remain offshore of the eastern seaboard, but it could bring some additional cloud cover over the next couple of days, uh, according to several different computer models. Here's one of those computer models take on how things shape up as we head into the overnight hours. Clouds begin to build in from the southeast tonight. I think we'll have another round of uh, patchy fog in some parts of central Pennsylvania. Temperatures falling back into the mid-60s. Maybe an isolated shower to kick off the day. I don't have very high hopes for that. Then during the day on Friday, the end of the work week should be a fairly pleasant one. A mixture of sun and clouds for most in the Commonwealth with temperatures warming a little bit more than they did today. Then during the day on Saturday, of course, the whiteout game as Penn State takes on Auburn at Beaver Stadium. Uh, there could be a weak disturbance that could kick off an isolated sprinkle here or there, uh, but if that happens, I think it'll be more nuisance showers and not really something that we'll have to worry about. Eventually, those clouds will get out of the way and things will be relatively pleasant for Sunday. High pressure will settle in on Sunday, and that'll be the story for the latter half of the weekend before clouds begin to build in Monday into Tuesday. And you can see another storm system beginning to get organized in the Midwest as a cold front will be sweeping across the state Wednesday into the first half of the day on Thursday. That will be our next chance for precipitation here in the Commonwealth. Tonight, not really any precipitation to worry about. 65 degrees for your overnight low. Be on the lookout for some fog late in the day with relatively calm winds. Then during the day tomorrow, 78 under partly cloudy skies. Be on the lookout for an isolated afternoon shower or two. The rest of your seven-day forecast temperatures will gradually get back down to where we should be in the latter half of the seven-day forecast. And then, of course, keeping an eye on that chance of precipitation on Wednesday, we'll have updates to that forecast as we get closer to that. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Christopher Tate. Have a great evening.